Hey guys, so I picked up this uh, micrometer with a lot of uh, machinist tools, and it's a, a Minotoyo. It's got a few issues. It's missing the lock, and it's missing the um, plastic insulators that go here that would have the Minotoyo name on it and would also indicate that it's a zero to one inch um, tenths micrometer. Uh, but it's got one issue I can fix fairly easily, and that is the fact that the numerical mechanical counter is off by one digit. And the way I know that is that if I close the anvil, the lines, the zero line lines up almost perfectly, and if I verify it with the vernier, the two zeros line up perfectly. So I know that it's not a matter of adjusting the stem to correct the problem uh, or the collar here. Uh, in other words, you know, you could take a micrometer wrench and you could shift that collar a tiny bit to get it straight perfect. But that's not the issue. The issue is actually the counter is one digit off. And I know that because if I back up just a tiny, tiny amount, less than a thousandth, it goes to all zeros. So what I want ideally is that when it's in this position, Instead of being all nines, it's all zeros, which that'll happen if I rotate that last tumbler one division more to the zero. That should kick all of these other ones over. So there's a little plastic window over there that protects the numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to take these two little screws out right here, remove that window. Now that I've got the little guard off, there's actually two screws right here that actually hold this bracket in position. These holes are slotted. So if I slightly loosen these screws, I can actually drop the tumbler down and cause this gear on the end to disengage this pinion gear. Once I have it disengaged, I can rotate this to wherever I want it and then re-engage it. So essentially it's probably like one tooth off right now. So I gotta get in here uh, a little bit of magnification, hopefully not get my fat head in the way of the camera. But see, I just dropped that down a little bit. So now I should be able to move this So now we got all zeros and push it back up. Just going to snug this lightly because I still have to push this other side up. There we go. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Just want to check the alignment in the window. Looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to snug those screws up. Now that I get everything tightened back up, we're ready for some tests. You know, closing it, it uh, goes to all zeros, which is what we want to see. And I've got a couple of gauge blocks I grabbed out of my set. And I got 450 thou. So there we go. That's over 450 right there. And yep, 450,000. And I got a one inch gauge block. We'll open it all the way up. Perfect. And then the last check is we'll close it all the way back down and it should come back to zero. And it does. So I would say that we're all set. If it doesn't return to zero when you come back the other way, it means it's dropping a tooth or two, you know, during that whole travel and would indicate that there's a problem with the, uh, you know, could be debris in one of the teeth or something like that. Or if you're really unlucky, a damaged tooth. What I like is that on this Mitotoyo, these gears are brass. They're not plastic. All right, now I've reinstalled the uh, window and uh, 
it's good to go. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful to anybody who is considering uh, repairing their Minitoyo mechanical counter style micrometer. Uh, this micrometer is not the prettiest specimen, but it's certainly serviceable for most home shops. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And as always, consider subscribing. Take care.